This is a model of the male reproductive system. Let's start with the part of the male reproductive system that makes sperm and testosterone. And that part is this structure, which is, which is called the testis. Testis makes sperm, and it also makes the hormone testosterone. The testis sits inside of this sac that's made out of skin that sits outside of the abdomen, and the sac is termed the scrotum. When sperm is made by the testis, it is going to be sent to this structure that is called the epididymis. The epididymis is where those sperm will finish maturing and they will be stored for the next ejaculation. During an ejaculation, sperm from the epididymis are going to be moved through this tube, which is called the vas deferens. The vas deferens goes up here through the spermatic cord and it will go into the abdominal wall through this tunnel, which is called the inguinal canal. Now, we see more of the vas deferens here, and the vas deferens is going to take the sperm way back at the posterior aspect of the urinary bladder. This is the man's urinary bladder. This structure right here, it's shown open in this model, is called the seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle does not make sperm, but it does make some of the fluid that will be part of the ejaculate. This structure right here looks kind of a dark reddish brown. This is the prostate gland. The seminal vesicle and the prostate gland make most of the volume of every ejaculate. The sperm from the testes are just a small part of that. Let's open up the reproductive system to get a closer look at some of these details. Once we've opened up the reproductive system, we can see that this is the end of the vas deferens bringing sperm. Right about here, where the pointer is, would be fluid from the seminal vesicle. Those two things come together right here, and this resulting tube right here it's not very long, that goes through this gland, the prostate gland. This tube is called the ejaculatory duct. The ejaculatory duct is going to take fluid from the seminal vesicle and sperm from the vas deferens through the prostate gland to this tube, and this tube is part of the man's urethra. Here's the urinary bladder. We can see it open. Normally, urine would go from the urinary bladder to the outside world, but in the case of an ejaculation, there would be no urine going, but we would have sperm and fluid from the seminal vesicle going through the ejaculatory duct into this part of the urethra called the prostatic urethra, and the prostate gland would be adding its secretions here. From here, it will go through the penile urethra. The penile urethra is the part of the urethra that goes through this structure, which is called the penis. The penis has got additional structures to know. This is the corpus cavernosum. The corpus cavernosum is responsible for the turgidity of an erection. The rest of this tissue that wraps around the penile urethra, this tissue is called corpus spongiosum. And at the very end of the penis, we see a structure that has the name glands, G-L-A-N-S. The glands of the penis in this particular model is shown as if the model has been circumcised. If this had been an uncircumcised model, then covering the glands would be a flap of skin called the prepuce.